This is an American party. Crossman 1400. 22 caliber. Rated at 600 feet a second, but I think this one's shooting a little harder. Great gun. Just beautiful, small, compact. Not too hard to pump. Uh, this whole barrel is solid. This is all steel. The only thing is I don't know why they didn't rifle uh, the Crossman 1400. It's a smooth bore. It's a dump valve. There's no bolt you pull back. The, you pull the trigger and it releases the pressure. 1968. 1973. Maybe 74. Benjamin. Or 75. I can't remember. Benjamin 347. 177. This is one of the earlier versions. Um, has the, the uh, more slender uh, stock and pump. Rated at 800 feet a second. This one I chronographed at 533 on six pumps before it got dark. This one, probably 1984, maybe 83. Benjamin 342. This is the little thicker style. The 340 family. This is the one personally um, that was around when I was a kid. Last but not least, my favorite, Sheridan Blue Streak. This one was probably, no telling, man, anywhere 78 to 80, I don't know, maybe even the mid-80s. I don't know. I haven't looked up the serial number on this one. Beautiful, gang. This party was made possible... by Mac One Air Guns. Pretty much the go-to people in the nation for American pumpers. But I think they call this honey. It looks kind of like honey. Good enough to eat. I'd have to say the most challenging to rebuild was the Crossman 1400. Um, however, it was the most rewarding in the end. So, if you're into pumpers, most Americans are. I don't know why. I like Sheridan's, but I like the 20 caliber. Mac 1's the go-to, guys.